What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are all the tap. I am Ted the Tank. And I'm Clark Kent! <laughs> Kent Brockman. <laughs> We're here with another beer review. He's going to give you the social media, because I suck at it. We all know this. The only thing I'm missing is my wheelchair. <laughs> Isn't that Dr. <laughs> Xavier? Or something from... Yeah, you're thinking like... No, X-Men. the guy that actually played Superman... Is in a wheelchair. Oh, Christopher. <laughs> in real I'm life, glad right you now. laughed that hard. It, 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 in real life, like right now. Usually it's not gotcha. as funny when you have to explain a joke. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I didn't even get, I, I was like, in the show? Hell yeah, no. Christopher, uh, Christopher something. You know. <laughs> so anyway, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram. We have three different Instagram TV channels right now. Craft Beer Food, Craft Beer Cocktail, and all of our craft beer reviews. Make sure you follow us on Untapped and Twitter. Those are both going to be Off The Tap too. And if you need to email us for any reason, we are going to be at offthetapgb2018 at gmail.com. Yeah, like if you want to sponsor us, definitely email us. Like, <laughs> we, like, we like getting stuff. It's so really fun to open things. Give you guys, yeah, it's awesome. Like, we will open it on camera, we'll give a review of it, we'll give a shout out. Yeah. All that stuff. We're trying to grow bigger and better. And if we get sponsors, we grow bigger and better faster. Absolutely. So, free beer is always good to you. <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping it local. Once again, we're on, we're on a big local train right now. Just because with the pandemic going on, we really wanted to do what we could in our area considering... It's hard for us to go help breweries out. We figured we'd do our part in reviewing all of the local breweries in our area's beer. So right now, I would say right around the beginning or right before all of this BS went down. It was like right, right at the beginning of it, probably. Anna P dropped their Azaka Craze IPA, which they do every year. Nope. And it like, like I said in another video where we reviewed the local, the locals only beer. Yeah. This is. One of those beers that I was just in the area, I'm like, man, I was just going to stop there. I'm you called me. And I'm like, hey, I'm going here. I'm in the area. <laughs> Dude, I'm in Algoma right now. I'm just going to stop there. And then you, like, send me a video when you're in the truck. You're like, well, I might have bought a bunch of beer. I'm like, yeah, I might have spent a little bit. I got four different types of beer. <laughs> so, what do we know about the uh, Anapi? Well, if you need to know any more, I'm not going to tell you because you got to go check out Locals Only. We did that review not too long ago. And also, we've done a number of different beers from them, and we've given a complete history lesson. So we're going to keep this one short. And if you're looking for something deeper, take those glasses right there, and you can, like, use the lasers. <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly, they don't help me see that much better. <laughs> You know, I <laughs> So, what do we know about Azaka Craze IPA? It's a juicy IPA. It's a 5% ABV and 50 you're, IBUs. Nev you're never going to guess what house it's brewed with. Dude, you asked me, like, I, for, I was, like, kind of thinking. I asked something. for the ABV, and you're like, did you just ask me what house it's in? No. <laughs> I'm like, dude, the name of the beer is the hop that is in it. <laughs> so, it's, it's Azaka hops. Uh... Definitely a little bit more bitter. It's 50 IBUs. That's pretty bitter for an IPA. Mm -hmm. uh, especially a basic IPA. Like Normally you get your IBUs when you get to your like your New England, your West Coast, and stuff like that, where it is a little bit more hoppy, but it's mellowed up by the, the grain as well, like the malts. Yeah. But this beer is just a basic IPA. It's got that ridge dark golden color. I will give it that. For all of you, uh, hashtag make IPAs clear again. This, this one is, is it. This one is for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going around. That's a big thing. Like, make IPAs. Like, <laughs> you got like, milkshakes and then you got the. I feel like. Language and hazy. It's like, you do drink what you want. I feel like a lot of it is too, though. It's like, since I do homebrew, it's like. You rack beer several times or you filter them to get the clearness. Yeah. If you're doing hazy, you're just like, yeah, don't fermenting. You can't get <laughs> you know, It's just a lazy man. I was going to say, yeah, hazy yeah. rhymes with lazy. Yeah, like, it's, like, I, I kind of, like, that's what I feel, it just because, like, I, I I can make any beer hazy if I wanted, really, just by not letting it 
rack or sit and settle, you know, like, yeah. Well, they've got a hazy stout. <laughs> it's still dark. <laughs> All right, let's try this thing. All righty. Not a lot on the nose. No. Definitely bitter. Mm. On the tongue? Extremely bitter. But there's also that graininess. That, like, on the back end, there's a lot of grainy notes. Like, <clears throat> yeah. And, like, I even said, like, one of my home brews, one of my IPAs, I mean, I think it was just the, the grain, the grain bill I use had the grain in it, like, the grainy grain, like, it was just the Pilsners, and the, it was just, I didn't care for it. Yeah. This beer, it's not bad. It's just not my palate at all. I don't, yeah, it's, um... Not what I wanted in an IPA, just because of the whole graininess of it. Yeah, like, I agree. don't get me wrong. The hops is... It's it hoppy. Was, yeah, it's hoppy. Mm-hmm. It's definitely got hops and it's bitter. I would say that they definitely succeeded in doing what they were trying to do. This I mean, this, this beer is not lying to you. It's no. in the damn name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely... It, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Try, like, I don't even know how they came up with the name or anything. Like, ooh, I'm crazy for trying this. <laughs> it is, like... I was expecting... I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I was psyching myself out for that fifty IBUs that it wouldn't be as bitter as it tastes. Oh, it's definitely. But it bitter. definitely is. But then, like, maybe that's because I did use a Zaka house in my homebrew, mm-hmm. so I wonder if like maybe the house is like what I'm feeling, not the grain. Like, I don't know. I, I I've tried mine hand in hand with this. And I couldn't tell. I'm like, like, what is it? Is it the grain bill or is it? The, yeah. Is it the house? Maybe it is the house. Because, like, the characteristics of it, it does allow for the grain to come through a little bit, you know? Yeah. So, all All right. Crazy. Well, this has been the Azaka Craze IPA from Anna Peep Brewing, Algoma, and hopefully by the time we release this, because they aren't on schedule yet, to open in Swampco, Wisconsin, on Lionville, just north of Green Bay, Wisconsin. So... As far as we didn't do a drinkability, I would say this is definitely like intermediate to advanced or yeah, nice absolutely. Person. And I would say maybe dead center and in, in between those two. Mainly because it's bitter like a mother in law, but I, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> like a mother in law. Yep. Keep her tuned.